wonderful. Now, if there's anybody thinking, oh, this tapping, I, I can't really get a handle on it. It's, is it scientific? Well, it is really happening because, wait for it, the pharmaceutical industry have been doing research in this very area for several years and they intend to spend multi-millions of pounds. And what they've already started to do uh, and th th is to monitor electrical impulses in the nervous system. Now think about that. Their, their game, or what they're aiming at now, they haven't achieved it yet, is to implant rice-sized monitors on the surface of the nervous system to monitor the electrical impulses because that's what the nervous system is, it's electrical impulses. And they're in the neuron of the nervous system, uh, the, the center of the ne neuron is negatively charged with respect to the surface of the, uh, of, of the neuron. And that allows electrical impulses to flow. If there's no differential, then nothing can flow, nothing can happen. And what they're wanting to do is to monitor the electrical impulses so can they can decode them to find out what those pulses are telling them in terms of diseases like cancers and autoimmune diseases. And the, the trick will be if they can decode those electrical impulses. However, I think what's been overlooked here is that those impulses are fired up through our emotional response to our environment. That's really crucial. So I think the pharmaceutical industry may well end up having to say, how can we understand emotions? Because if a cell fires up in a negative way, it's emotions that fire them up. It's our response to our environment. So that's really important to have clarity with. So if you can imagine that you're getting a load of data about the electrical impulses, and by the way, if you uh, put a charge through two neurons, they become stronger. And each time you put a charge through them, they become stronger and stronger. And I feel that this is what's happening with the tapping process. When we tap on an issue, what we're doing is we're firing up the memories that are stored in the particular um, part of the nervous system plus in the brain. And what we are doing here is we are resetting the electrical impulses that were set in place when we had the negative experience. So if you think you're exposed to a negative experience and at that moment your nervous system is responding and you set up a series of electrical charges inside the nervous system and inside the brain and that's stored in the cells of the body, stored in the nervous system, and stored in the hippocampus, in the brain. So we've now formed a set of pulses which are there. And what I feel we are doing, scientific uh, evidence doesn't show this yet because we haven't done the research, but what we are doing with the tapping is we are discharging the order of those electrical charges inside our system, inside our amygdala, the part that is the alarm bell. So we're calming the amygdala, one each side. We are calming the brain, we're calming the hippocampus. We're calming the prefrontal cortex, which I'll explain uh, later. And we're calming the nervous system. And we're giving our whole system constant feedback that we can calm ourselves, we can take control as never before. So this is really exciting that, in fact, they call it, I've got it down here because I couldn't believe it, it's called, it's not called um, pharmaceutical, it's called electro, electrocuticles. Isn't that interesting that they're going over to this idea of impulses in our systems? And they realise they're going to have to work with engineers to help them discover the meaning of these electrical impulses, which I think is quite exciting. So remember, we are changing the electrical charges in our nervous system and think about it in this sense is that we we're constantly waiting for a stimulus from the outside world the cells are vibrating the 50 trillion plus cells are vibrating in the body 
the nervous system is on alert. We get a stimulus that creates fear because it's based on a past experience. It fires information into the hippocampus. This is a bit of a longer route than that, but this is a simplified version. And then it tells the amygdala, this has happened before and it's fearful. Fire up the amygdala, uh, drain the blood from the forebrain, uh, produce adrenaline so we can fight the danger. And this process is dangerous if we're constantly going into that state. And the tapping is, uh, is a wonderful way of making those changes ourselves.